This is the example on slide 57 of our chapter 15 PowerPoint, and this is our last example together. Um, it's basically similar to the problem we just worked, um, but here, basically, we're looking to see if these two reactions are spontaneous, aka will um, HCl, source of hydrogen ions, be able to dissolve either of these metals. So in reaction A, I've already shown what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. And here, we're going to once again use the activity series to determine for our oxidation that's occurring, is zinc actually above hydrogen on the activity series scale? Um, is it something that is more easily oxidized? So let me erase our previous example. Um, so if we're looking at this, zinc up here in the activity series, H2 all the way down here. So obviously, yes, zinc is above hydrogen on the series. Therefore, yes, this is a spontaneous reaction. And HCl can dissolve zinc. And that is actually a reaction that can occur in solution. Um, I think we've actually done it in lab earlier this year. For the second one, we've technically already done this example, but in the context of HCl, um, we want to figure out if copper is above the H2. And we've already looked at this example. H2 is way down here, and copper is right below it. So therefore, if copper is written as oxidized in this, this is not going to naturally occur. No, this reaction is non-spontaneous. And in fact, if you stuck something like a penny, which is coated in copper, in um, HCl, it's not going to dissolve. So HCl cannot dissolve. Or react with copper. Interesting thing about these two reactions in relation to one another, pennies minted after 1982 um, are not pure copper. They are copper on the outside and in the inside they're a zinc wafer. So if you put a penny in hydrochloric acid and do nothing to it, it's not going to dissolve. But if you were to etch one of the sides and expose the zinc inside, um, the HCl can go in and react with the zinc and basically hollow out the penny. Um, and if you left that sitting for a couple hours, you'd come back and be left with literally just the copper shell. And the zinc will have reacted away and dissolved in the HCl. So, little fun, interesting fact. Um, and there you have it. That's the end of our examples for this chapter.